that this place was not. This is a time for honoring memories, healing wounds, and hope for the future. 100 years after the Okoe Election Day Massacre, November 2nd, 1920, was one of the bloodiest days in our state's history. What was a thriving, prosperous, orange grove land owned by black people becoming a gruesome crematorium. Black landowner July Perry was lynched as an armed white mob attacked black neighborhoods, killing about 50 residents, burning homes and churches. Others were driven out of Okoe, all because they wanted to vote. The 252 names of the 1920 Okoe residents impacted were read aloud. Edward, Wayman, Infant, Wayman. There were apologies for descendants of those families. And on behalf of predominantly white churches, I apologize to you that we did not push harder, that we did not speak more forcefully, and that we did not pray more fervently for justice for you and against the evil sin of racism. The governor and Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings issued proclamations. The city of Ocoee also signed a letter of apology to the victims. We want these descendants to know that they're still part of our city. They are remembered, they will be remembered, and we will never forget. Now I can truly say that we are on the road to recovery, we're healing, and we're moving forward together. Afterwards, a memorial walk, but first, folks passed by the original cross of the church that opened its doors to fleeing blacks on the night of the massacre. The Klan shot up the church. While observance cannot right the wrongs that took place, speakers say maybe it's one small step on a journey to healing. In Ocoee, I'm Gail Pascal brown West 2 News. On Sunday, the city of Ocoee will unveil a historic marker for the victims of the 1920 Election Day Massacre. That is from 4 to 6.45 p.m. at the Lakeshore Center in Ocoee. That's also where the city will offer its letter of apology to the victims and descendants of the Ocoee Massacre. The board signed the letter at the commission meeting last night.